What's good, guys? Shiraku ZXV Talk right now. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters EX video. In the previous video that we did, we did part one of the Hoenn, of the Hoenn saga, of the villain arc. Today's episode right now, video right now, we're gonna do part two of the Hoenn villain arc. If you hop today's video, make sure that like for the post to channel. So I'm keep fumbling as to why do I keep saying episode when it's just a video? Because I don't make episode marks on this. No way, as if I do not. So let's keep on going, shall we? Shall we? Survey says. First try, let's go! First try, let's go, Mr. Steven Stone. I'm Steven. I travel the world in search of undiscovered lands and unknown possibilities. To be honest, I was thinking it, it would be Wally that would get Deoxys. But, uh, no. It's Steven Stone yet again. With our one, two... This is our third one, correct? Alrighty then. Uh, data has changed, so at least it's better than restarting during midway through the story in battle. Next, next, next. All right, main story. Villain arc. Back over here. Delta land, sea, and sky. The meteor's passenger. I might sneeze, as always. A short time before Corny and Groudon, as well as Matt and Kyogre, lost control. Natural energy is building deep in the ocean floor around Pasio. That may be one of the reasons why a lot of sink stones get dig up around near there. I see. As expected, that energy is what caused our current situation. Me, Steven, do you mind sharing your thoughts with us? Yes. Sure, this is just a theory of mine, but... Because the meteor that Xenia saw fell near Pasio, I think the natural energy beneath the seabed erupted and excited Groudon and Kyogre. I even have some evidence that backs up this theory. Back when I was researching the Draconid people, I read something. It was in the thousand year old lore of Super Ancient Pokemon, and it recounted an event similar to ours. Also, Xenia believes there may be someone who's trying to use this connection Commotion for an evil purpose. Meteors, huh? What's the matter, Professor? Oh, it's nothing, really. But the talk about meteors is reminding of something. I know someone who's been researching astronomy, and according to them, there may be possibility of a huge meteor impact on the planet in the near future. It's only a possibility, so the chances of catastrophic events are still low, but I heard the meteor Xenia saw was supposed to fall in the ocean quite a distance from Pasio. But the fact that Meteor fell in the ocean so close to Pasio has been bothering me. So you're thinking this might be a bad omen? Uh -huh. It could be the similar things happen very close to each other, but... Right. Just in case, I will ask my contact more about Meteors. Yes, that would be great. Right. I'm going to investigate whether someone caused the kiss commotion intentionally. With well, his shiny ring coisant to boot. From what Xenia was saying, the meteors should have fallen around here somewhere. <laughs> Can you feel anything, Rayquaza? Huh? Do you see something over there? Huh? That Pokemon, is that the Oxus? <laughs> what are you doing? We don't want to fight you. Uh, we won't last if we're only def defending. Right. We have no choice. Let's do this, Rayquaza. <laughs> it finally left. The actor seemed like it was after Rayquaza. I wonder why. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Steven, we're in trouble. It turns out what I was concerned about might actually happen. No way. Yes? When I called my contact, they were so surprised. They were just about to tell me about the meteor themselves. But what they're saying, the trajectory of the giant meteor suddenly changed. Oh, it's nearly guaranteed to crash into Pasio. Alrighty then. 
Why are we back here? At least we had to skip the news. Back here. Oh no, wait, wrong area. Uh, here again. Yeah, this is gonna be like a long 30 minute video because I might be sneezing left and right. Ground type. Say less. Uh, give me all home wind. Uh, I take it back what I said. I forgot about a lot. Not a Um, freaking. Freaking. Summer Steven. I forgot about that. What? I put freaking homeboy for a reason. Let us do this. Team Hoenn, roll out. Space Cadet, oh my god. What? Oh, it changes, I forgot about that. So then the moment we choose, it changes the thing, got it. Alright, I forgot what level we're in. I forgot what level we're in. I forgot what level we're in, so... Um, sing pairs. Upgrade. Better be showing me Hoenn. Back it up. Max upgrade. Whatever I did, I did. Let's go. As long as I didn't do a damn thing, we're good. Oh my god, the lag. Back here again. One, two, three. Alright, let's try this again. This time with more feeling. It was leveling up with me. Oh my god. So it starts up with all four moves. Attack, the fan, faster. And then we change into that. What? You know? You know? You know? Bulldoze everything. Bulldoze everything. Ground wish everything. Cause I am I could do my thing in a bit. Thank you. We wasted enough time as it is. Just of me fooling around. What was that back over there? Because we did the max level. We did the max upgrade, but we didn't level up. When I pressed the max thing, I thought it was just the level up. I guess not. And what, what I mean is that when I pressed the max thing, I thought it's going to get everything. Including the level up. So that's why when I saw 140, I thought it got that too. Team Aqua. Destroy! Destroy! If you stand in my way, you're gonna get squash! No. Now, now, both of you, calm down. Yo? You okay back over there? Whoa! Are you okay, Brendan? I've had enough of this. Cut it out, you two! Desist immediately. I can't stop now, bro. Not until I squash King Magma. Until the target is eliminated. Can't obey orders. Oh, this isn't good. Even that dragon Pokemon is losing ground. 
Ugh, their power keeps on growing. This isn't over yet. If all of us work together, there's always a way. Don't forget that we're here as well, Xenia. If you're ever in trouble, you can count on us. You guys are always gonna make me cry. Well then, I'll be needing from help from all of you. Hey, Maxi. Does letting these kids clean up after our mess look like justice to you? Absolutely not. We must take responsibility for our own actions. <laughs> it's been a while since we had the same opinion on something. I guess so. Right. Let's get it started. Enough is enough, Matt. Or do you need my fist to knock some sense into the head of yours? Bro? bro? Attention, Courtney. Stop fighting immediately. Paperwork is the only minimum punishment for repeatedly disobeying orders. Leader, Maxi. No, please don't hate me. Matt! I'm sorry, bro. I can't stop it anymore. I can't even stop myself. Leader Maxi, I, I just. To be honest, I thought we were gonna get the primordi primordial, ver primordial versions of these guys. My bad. If I push you that to point, but then I fail as a leader, hit him with everything you've been feeling and battling up until now. Bro! It's my job to deal with my subordinates' misdoings. Courtney, allow me to share the burden of your suffering. Leader Maxi. Okay, let's try this again with more feeling. Hopefully we don't get bopped by turn one. Let's try this again, but this time with more feeling. Shall we? Shall we? Can we get a Luster Purge in this? It's causing power. We had that type of ability? Oh my god. Alright, let's finish this up. Shall we, shall we? I'm counting on you, my friend. Space Rock Psycho Boost. And attacks everyone? Wait, are we a strike or a tech? Yo, why is the Oxus so mini like right there? Oh my god. Yes, let's keep this up. Uh, terrifying powers of nature. Our Pokemon have been defeated, but we cannot give up here. Not until we stop those two. Don't do this, Leader Maxi. We have to get out of here. Without the means to fight, we will just be dead weight. Archie, I understand how you feel, but leave the rest of those kids. Though there's nothing more we can do to help here. How embarrassing. In the end, we gotta rely on some kids. If only our sub if, if it's only one subordinate, I can't believe I could control her. Yo. No Shoot, I was so sure that Archie and Maxi would get through to them. They aren't coming down at all. Until we stop the Pokemon, I don't see an end to this. Xenia, can you hear me? Hey, champion, what's up? Did you find something? We don't have much time left, so I keep it short. There's a giant meteor approaching past you as we speak. 
I had a discussion with Professor Bellis, as well as the leader and, and his staff. We decided that I will put a special gear made for this spe space expedition. Then my Rayquaza will mega evolve. After that, we'll head into space together and destroy the meteor. So in order for me to safely get to space, I, I need you to quiet down Crowdon and Kyogre who are raging about on my path. A giant meteor, huh? That's not very calming. Okay. Alrighty, leave it to me. I believe in you, Xenia. Is that? Oh no, it's back again. Not right now. So I've just been told we have to quiet down Ground and Kyogre. So Steven's gonna stop the meteor? In that case, filler's not gonna be an option for us. Where's us, the main character? Yeah, we have no we have to stop these Pokemon, whatever it takes. Here we go again. We've got enough problems trying to stop this red page, but a giant meteor on top of that? This situation is beyond Team Magma and Team Aqua. We just have to hope their plan succeeds. Darn it! Ain't there a way we can do another other than sit back and watch? Look at us, so proud of our grand ideals. Yet, we are utterly powerless before the marvels of nature. Next. Alright, here we go again. Round... whatever. This time we're feeling. You had damage guard? Oh, I pressed that instead. You have recover? Alrighty then. Oh, you oh, here we go again. This time, oh god. Hopefully this works, as I thought. And an opponent. How do we end up attacking everyone? Probably the ability. I'm counting on you. Analyst complete. Earthquake. My camera is better than yours. That's what I thought. Time for the Luster Purge. Some HP. Let's go. Destroy the meteor. Team Rocket? What is going on? Meanwhile, when Brennan and friends were fighting Kyogre and Groudon. Uh, there's no one to stop us. We could be as bad as we like. Yeah, and that's all thanks to Team Magma and Team Aqua. Who's stopping them? Uh. I feel messed up again. Stay strong, Carney. We need you to control Groudon. Get yourself together, Matt. Stop raging. You're causing a mess. Bro. Okay. Now's your chance, champion. We can't hold them much longer, so hurry. I know. I'd like to do so, but I can't right now. 
I'm being attacked by the ox and can't take off. But the oxes must come on the meteor. For some reason, it's only attacking my Rayquaza and isn't showing interest on the other Pokemon. I don't know what's happened before it came here, but it can't go on like this. Can you hear me, champion? It's me, Maxi. We want to destroy the media. We need a trainer who's wearing a space compatible suit and has a seat pair with Rayquaza, correct? Yes, but we have a suit that was almost the same features as what you're wearing. As long as we can make our Rayquaza Mega Evolve. Oh, I get what you're trying to do. Xenia, sounds like what we need is for you to destroy the meteor with Mega Rayquaza. You know my Rayquaza can't make it evolve, right? No. It's not about whether you think you, it can or not. Mega Evolution is the only solution we have here. Jeez, what a reckless champion. And what are you gonna do? I'll try to catch this Deoxys. Brendan said that we can definitely become friends with any Pokemon. I want to believe in those words too. Yeah, sure, it's easy to delegate the important stuff to everyone else. That's not what I'm doing. This is a race between you and me. Let's see if I can catch Deoxys and take off first. Or if you can lift off and get to space before that. That doesn't sound bad. I'm in. Yeah, let's do this fair and square and see who wins this race. Alright, Deoxys, if you're so interested in us, let's battle. When you change your mind and decide to become a friend, I'm sure we can be partners. Challenge Courtney and Matt? Oh god. Alright then, they're bringing out the big guns, I see. Boss battle time. Say less, we'll do the same thing as well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It doesn't matter who we're gonna throw out. As long as we do something. Now let's go stupid. I see you require my help. <laughs> Leave it to me. I guess I could use a little excitement. And the one that's in third target gets the sunny day. Let's go. So we gotta make this fast. She's first. I'm counting on you. Weather surge, confused. Downpour. I'm counting on you with this. We get the paralysis, let's go. This should finish it up, but just in case. Let's go. Alright, the final story. In the shadows of Passio's Crisis. Brendan, May, the champion's plan is... It's fine. If they start rampaging again, we'll take care of it. Just focus on yourself, Xenia. Yeah, you're right. With you on the job, I know it'll be okay. Okay then, time for me to go on a trip to space. Apologies. 
I apologize for burdening you with this responsibility. We're counting on you. Okay. Leave it to me. We may do our own thing, but we're never alone. Hey. Right, Rayquaza? Let's show the world our new story. Any time now. My heart's beating faster and faster. Yeah. I'm getting excited. Now then. It's time for Mega Evolution Rayquaza. Mega! Mega Evolution! <gasps> that light must be... I'll let you win this time, Xenia. Phew. Finally. Someday we'll understand each other more. So the meteor has been destroyed and Ground and Kyogre are calm again. I understand that we were able to stop the meteor by smashing it to pieces, but why did Ground and Kyogre also come down when did that happen? Well, when I was on the way back from catching the Oxus, I found a suspicious advice. Professor Bellas was with me and managed to shut it down. That also stopped the super ancient Pokemon from losing control. We discussed the matter and assumed that the device was amplifying natural energy. That means someone must have caused all this intentionally. No. What an awful thing to do. You shouldn't force Pokemon to go on a rampage. Uh -huh. Exactly. Looker? In the name of international police, I refuse to let whoever did this run free. Do you know who caused this? Yes, I do. During my investigation, we learned that Team Rocket were the ones pulling the strings. They made Team Magma and Team Aqua fight on purpose and used that chaos as a cover of their evil deeds. The suspicious device that Steven found must be Team Rocket's. So our enemy is... Team Rocket. So if that's the case, what are we going to do with Team Aqua and Magma? They both caused damage to the island, but that was only because they were being used by someone else. They're not innocent, but we won't be arresting them for now. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. It's not good at all! Huh? Archie? Sorry, kid. I wasn't directing that to you. I deeply regret involving all of you in our mess. Hey. Matt, do you have something to say? Oh. I'm sorry I caused a lot of trouble. Hey. Courtney, come on! Apologize to everyone, too! I'm sorry. I won't do that again. You don't have to be so hard on yourselves. You've been punished enough and are sorry for what you've done. If anything, you're probably upset that you've hurt your own leaders. That's why we're here with you now, but we actually have something else to say to you. This incident hit us hard with a valuable lesson. In the face of the wonders of nature and the wonder worldwide catastrophe, whatever, catastrophe. Squabbling over the ocean and land just seems so trivial. So for now, let's stop with this fighting. Team Magma and Team Aqua have decided to call it truce. That's big news. It might not be enough to atone for my wrongdoings, but perhaps we could offer our assistance the next time Pastor needs to be protected. Of course, sounds good to me. Yeah. Me too. Hey. We got all, we got a lot of reliable allies now, don't we, Steven? That's true. We can overcome conflict and work together, hand in hand, in order to protect our future. As long as we believe in the potential of po people and Pokemon. And with that, we'll end today's video right here. Like and subscribe, show us next TV, and I'm signing out.